Hey everyone, in the news this week, Nicola Sturgeon's been learning how to drive and part of that must involve learning how to successfully perform a U-turn. Talking about driving in Scotland, I've always thought it was strange how many F1 drivers are named after Scottish place names. You've got Lewis Hamilton, Johnny Dumfries, Sterling Moss and Ayrton Center. Ayrton Center. There was a survey in America showing most people there believe the US Supreme Court is less trustworthy than organised religion as compared to the UK where most people believe the British Supreme Court is less trustworthy than organised crime. And it was a London marathon, and I managed a personal best. I watched it for nearly 14 minutes before turning it off. Years ago, when I lived in London, I used to look forward to the marathon every year. I'm not into running, but you can go out in the afternoon dressed in running gear, and random people will just buy you pints. Meanwhile, there was an environmental protest at the snooker, which I haven't seen that much powder since Jimmy White stopped playing. I don't get what the environmentalists were actually protesting. Maybe a misunderstanding about what the spider is. I think you should just give it a rest, or a break. And the UK Deputy Prime Minister Dominic Grab resigned in order to spend more time terrorising his family. There's a bizarre story here about 11 Indonesian fishermen being rescued from a tiny island after being stranded for six days without food. Fishermen at sea with no food. You know, sometimes I wonder if we're going to make it as a species. And of course it was a test of the government's new emergency system, although at a score of 6-1 it came a little bit too late for Tottenham Hotspur. Anyway, see you next week. If you like these, click subscribe.